Today we are going to be playing a game called Ring Fort, so let me skip through this. So basically, as you can see, hey, here we are. This is the Ring Fort. This is where we start off. It looks like I'm a rather dapper man with a rather impressive mustache. And our task is pretty simple. When you see a Ring Fort and a handsome mustachio gentleman, one must assume that our task is to colonize the land using a variety of different races. Bunnies, bears, foxes, voles or moles, not to be confused, owls, weasels, lions, and the venerable woodpecker race. So I will show you how we gotta do this. Alright, setting up. So here's some Viking guy. We're very fortunate to have found this place, but if we're going to survive more than a few days, we'll need food and lumber. There's some trees growing near the walls. I recommend setting up a lumber yard. As for food, a simple mill should suffice for the time being. The lumber yard and mill can be found in the resource selection or the section of the build menu. All right. So, getting to work. We need to get to work immediately. Assign the settlers, blah, blah, blah. I will go over this. All right, so you can see here in the top left, my food meter is ticking down. None of the other meters are. Food is the most essential resource. So first, we're gonna build a farm. It's gonna be a nice, beautiful farm right in here. So we're gonna put our guy. We only have one dude right now. We're gonna produce six food. Perfect. So now we should. Now that we got this food production, you see we're going at plus five, but we're limited to thirty, right? So eventually we'll just kind of produce the maximum amount. So I think what I want to do now is create a lumber yard, and I want to put it. Oh, is that a door? I want to put it like here. Oh look! Greetings from the rabbit folk! Me and my fellow rabbit folk were forced from the villages by the Dole Horde to the west. We would be grateful if we could take refuge within walls of your fortress. Many of my friends are quite superstitious, however, so you will need to build a shrine using the Azerite in order for them to trust and respect that we trust and respect their beliefs. Alright, got it, got it. So we need to build a shrine. Thank you. I will first build said shrine here. Now I want to build it so I can put a full ring of houses around it. Because these are going to be our future workers. Alright, so we looks like we need 10 lumber. What we're going to have to do is move our man here. Over here. And he's going to produce two wood. And once we get to 10, we can build a rabbit house. And then this will produce a rabbit. Because you can see our food is dropping, so we're going to need to have someone to man these farms. Well, how about this new rabbit? Perfect. And once we get a little more lumber, we're going to get another rabbit folk house going. And then eventually a rabbit will come. And it, this is all about, like, resource management. However, the main story consists of, like, the wolf race is basically going to attack and try to kill us. we got to set up an empire in order to counter those bastards. Thank you. We don't need the food, so we'll refuse the feud, and it should keep morale up. You'll see this guy's morale is at 58. He's working. Morale eventually drops, so we're going to have to find a way to counteract that. But I think right now we're going to build a quarry right on these stones, and we're going to put this rabbit on it. So we're going to be producing stones, and therefore we have three out of the four main resources. Eventually we're going to have to get bricks, and we're going to have to get mud, and then it's kind of like a, a two-step resource there. So... Once things are going, we can get to the next. However, let's build some roads, because I want to get access to this little area down here. We're going to build a road all the way. Can we build the resource yet? This is a lumberyard. Clayworks. All right, so now we're going to need another house, a rabbit folk house. And once he's available, we'll have him get gathering some clay. Oh, look at this. Well, hello. Well, hello there. We thought we might bring to your attention a nearby Dole scouting party. I suppose we could have dealt with it if we'd wanted to, do, but we didn't want to. Why don't you deal with it? All right, so we've got to send in a, an a attack. So we're going to send in that rabbit. Now, I don't think he's going to be very successful in this endeavor. So let's build another rabbit house. Eventually that mission will come back. Here we go. Well, hello. We failed to defeat the scouting party. They ambushed us on the path and we were forced to retreat. 
quest failed. I believe we were intended to do that. At your expense. Okay, have the foxes steal food or weapons for me? Yeah, they're laughing that our military endeavors failed. It seems you need to learn how to be a little more discreet in your approach. Allow us to demonstrate. We'll raid the dole camp for you and send them off with their tail between their legs. We'll even send you the spoils. Well, I'm stacked on food, so I'm gonna have them send the weapons. And it looks like we unlocked the fox house, and we've also got, look, the bear folk. These are the main warriors of the ring fort. Universe? Galaxy? Land? I guess we'll call it a land. Greetings, human folk. I am Grizz, first of my name. Leader of the Grizzback tribe, my clan was witness to the embarrassment that befell your kinsmen, you puny bitches. We will offer our services as mercenaries if you can provide us with a feast to fill our stomachs and beds to rest. Well, unlocked bear house. So we unlocked both the, I almost said the horses, the foxes and the bear folk. So let's go ahead and build these bear folk out here. And then, you know what, I think we might need another farm soon. Alright, so we've got this bear, look at this. Raiding party. Raid wolf camp with the bear. We're going to get the bear to fight it for us. So now we have an 84% chance of victory as opposed to, I think it was 45 or 60, somewhere in that range. Oh, and our rabbit came back. Well, that's fantastic. So he's going to get... We've got everybody working right now. You know what we need? Is we need a brickery. Shall we produce a brickery? Of course. Rabbit, get to work. Look at this. Raiding party. We got plus five food and plus five stone. We took care of those canine weaklings and took their supplies. So I guess the doles are, look at this, now we're producing bricks. So we're going to have like a full stack of like everything. So let's go ahead and check the journal. This is basically a history of what's happened so far. Luxuries. Now this is something like, look at how many resources there are. Azerite, dyes, bricks, food, clay, gold, cloth, gold ore, coal, iron, iron ore, there's a there's a lot of resources and right now we've got like bricks stone clay woods and food and then there's morale too you can see the morale of these workers aside from me this mustachio gentleman are slowly falling so I, f I feel like wherever this guy should be should be like the key thing so maybe that would be food everybody's working here though well this guy's not you know I think it might be time to make maybe We've got lumberyard. Some of these units are locked, like printing works, charcoalers hut, hunters lodge, and blast furnace are all locked. This is pre-alpha version 0 0.04 or 0 0.4, I believe. A mine, and they call it a mine. Well, we could get more clay and more stones, but it's like I don't entirely know what to do from here. I know the basics. Uses gold ingots to produce jewelry, but it's like I don't see anywhere where it's like where we can muster soldiers other than these little quests that might come up occasionally but right now like ring fort you can see that like i like the art style it's got a rather in-depth um you know economy type system we saw some fun quests and interactive you know like pop-ups and things like that but right now i'd say it's in a very very early stage of development so it's probably gonna be a while to like i can do anything other than build my economy or so it seems look at these cute little rabbit homes all right so now we're at full resources so it's like what should we try next and you can't we can't expand the size of our um, storage at all at least i don't think so we can make a shrine but we need some kind of purple resource uh the mole folk temple is locked we can build taverns and those kind of like increase morale everywhere we put them so I want to put it, let's put it like here. Because that guy doesn't need it. And then, yeah, so now the morale of these guys should go up. And you should see these little green numbers, plus one. So you can kind of visually tell what needs, to, oh, I guess that would be the resources that are going up. This guy's plus seven. But you can see we're only at plus one food. So you can see that our guys are, you know, using food. So let's go ahead and build up, purchase another farm. And I think we could put it inside. There we go. I mean, that seems fine. We could put like one or two things there. A few more around here. Um, now we have this bear that needs to work. I don't know if like each race 
power, wit, agility, likes bears and moles, dislikes weasels. Oh, man. Oh, this is a woodpecker. Let's check the bear. He likes woodpeckers, but he dislikes lions and owls. So there's like this whole like balancing act. But there's no real stats bonuses. Yeah, most people seem to dislike foxes and lions. But I mean, right there, that's pretty much the majority of what's going on. We could continue to get more resources. Oh, we might as well build a fox house, right? And then I believe like that's the farthest I've gotten so far, but I really love, yes, foxy. I really love the artwork. It'd be cool if they had like maybe a little bit of soundtrack, but you can see that we've got these nice palisaded walls with um, these stakes and ditches out front. So it makes it seem like it could be a military-esque military hmm, type game, right? But like, I don't see like formations being formed because how it seems right now, they're represented by these icons that you drag. So I feel, I worry that in this game, at least for what I would be looking for, I think it's economy centered and not necessarily like military conquest centered. But it definitely has some promise to it, and it's definitely early in development. So who knows what's going to happen next. But this was just a little bit of a preview. If you'd like to see more, or you'd want to see me go in-depth on the economy and just kind of go balls to the wall and see where we can get, we could definitely try that. But, I mean, right now, I, I think that's kind of the extent of Ringfort. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Baron. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video and you'd like to see more, make sure to pull the trigger on that like button. And you know what? If you're new, subscribe and share the video with a friend. And I'll see you guys in the next video.